just talk like this into the camera. Yeah, it does seem less obtrusive over here or over there. Right in front of me, it seems kind of moronic. <laughs> you know, you really know you're talking into a camera when it's right in front of you. Anyway, that's a whole another whole another video. Do that someday. I'll explain what cameras I use and what software and all that crap. Get to it eventually. Uh, so anyway, there's probably more to say on this subject. There really should be. Uh, you know, I, p people get really pissed off because yeah, I, I do push this that atheism is a philosophy. It's more you have to. You can't just have the simple out. I don't believe in anything. Well, that's just bullshit. <laughs> you know, certainly not believing in supernatural creation has an implication. And there's a theology, <laughs> you know, a theory of fact that you have to build from that. If you just sit back and say, I'm just going to be no God, and that's it. I'm not going to think any further than that. I'm not going to take any more responsibility than that. I'm not going to extend that to a logical consequence. And that's just bullshit. I'm going to accept the same presumptions of the religious loonies, uh, you know, except for the gay thing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, and I'm not going to force women into burkas. But otherwise, I'm just going to be a religious nut. I mean, in in presumption concerning what has value and what purpose we have here and all that crap. Um, so yeah, it's, atheism's got to be more than just saying no to God. Uh, if you don't go any further, you're worse than a Christian, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's more bankrupt. I mean, no belief is worse than a false belief. Uh, I mean, it's just so dishonest, it's so intellectually um, impoverished. You know, how can you be more intellectually impoverished in, uh, than to not uh, apply logic to what you claim to be of fundamental belief and to say, well, what's the logical consequence of there being no God? Well, in this circumstance, the logical consequence is that you must concede that yep, consumption and reproduction doesn't go anywhere. It makes people ride bicycles, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just consumes. That's all. It just changes what matter looks like. And uh, and then when it it made a toolbox, God, that guy's wearing perfume or something. Phew. Uh, it just, it just, it, you know, uh, it, now we got this sentient stuff here. Now we got these feeling organisms that can suffer and be harmed, and they're still playing, damn, a dumb primitive game. See, he's in this damn horse fly, dumb primitive game, and now he's dead. He's, well, he's, he's been disrupted. <laughs> yeah, well, he got his licks in. Um, anyway, no, it's bites in. <sighs> crows, crows, crows. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there is a religion here. There, I mean, there is a philosophy of atheism. It's not as simple as, I don't believe. It's just, yeah, it's just too easy. That, that's too, it's too unfinished. You have to do more than that. And if you're unwilling to do more than that, you're an asshole. <laughs> you know, you're a moron. You're a retard. You're something. And so, uh, and if the best you can come up with is, uh, well, UFOs put us here. Some kind of wacky theory. Well, then you might as well be. Like I said, that's the same thing as a religion. If you think the UFOs planted the seed of humanity, then you're a religious nut. There's no other word for that. Because who created the UFOs? <laughs> you know, they didn't evolve. Somebody planted them too. And then somebody planted those UFOs. And somebody planted those UFOs. When does the planting stop and we get to a gardener? That's the implication of that bullshit. So it doesn't answer the question. The answer to the question is, we are part 
of an insidious, uh, you know, complication of matter <laughs> that um, is out of control, out of rational, reasonable, uh, what's the right word, initiation, creation, and management. It's, uh, it's a wagon with no rider, um, no, what do you call them guys, <laughs> you know, a wagon with no <laughs> guy riding, steering the wagon, so a wagon steerer. So anyway, there's a good analogy for this, but yeah, there's no, there's not even a drunk at the wheel. <laughs> you know, this is just an out of control uh, pile of crap. <sighs> yep. And some of these were born into it. If this makes any sense. So, signing off. In touch.